back to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. Today's question is from Carrie. She wants to know if she should express her feelings to a guy that she's interested in. Okay, so a little rundown on, on her situation here. So she wrote me and said that she's really good friends with somebody. Um, there is a bit of a chemistry. She kind of feels it from him. She's not completely in the dark about how he feels, but he's never really made any attempt to kind of get her into out of the friend zone. So she's kind of at, she's at a loss of what to do here because she doesn't want to come across too aggressive with him and scare him off because she really enjoys him as a friend as well. But she's at the point now where she's much more interested in getting to know him in an intimate, more of a boyfriend, girlfriend kind of situation. So she wants to know, what does she do here? Does she take a chance and risk losing him as a friend by telling him that she likes him? Because even though he's kind of a little bratty and flirty with her, he hasn't really, as I said, made it apparent that he's like really into her. Now, she's 28 years old and he's 31. Neither of them are in relationships. So that's a good start. What I really suggest here to Carrie is, yes, they're a good friend, but do you really want to sit there and worry about losing another friend when you can have a fantastic, loving relationship with somebody? I personally think it's worth losing the friendship over. Many people will disagree with me about that. But you, I'm not saying that friends come along, you know, every two seconds either. But if you can have a great friendship with somebody, that is the perfect start to an amazing relationship. Because you are always going to be friends with your partner if you have a great relationship with somebody. You're not just going to be lovers. You're going to have amazing things that you talk about. You're going to communicate well. Why not start it off as a friendship? And if it doesn't work out and they get freaked out and run away, oh well, you tried. So many people spend years wondering what would have happened if they had gone in and actually made a move on something that they wanted in their life, actually pushed for it to happen. If you're not aggressive about your approach, I always say you've got nothing to lose. Don't live life wondering what if, what if, what if. Because you know what? Everybody sits down and says that he can't have a great relationship, but they're not putting their 100% energy into making a relationship happen. They're saying, well, maybe it would, maybe it won't. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. Get off your butt and make these things happen. So my answer to Carrie is yes. Say to him one day, you know, I have to be really honest with you. I enjoy our time together very much, but I also have got an attraction to you. I know that's going to freak you out the first time you say something even remotely like that, but it might be all you ever have to say again. They may turn to you and go, oh my God, so do I. I just didn't think you did. And then you work from there. If they look at you and say, oh, really? Oh, I don't really feel that way. Well, yeah, it's going to piss you off and hurt you and make you feel uncomfortable. But guys have been doing this for years, getting rejected from women who aren't interested in them. Carrie, take the chance, seriously. Really, if you feel this strongly about somebody and you've known them for, you know, I think you said it was over a year now, and you feel this strongly about them and you have such a great connection, why wouldn't you want to take it to the next level? Seriously, ask them right away how they feel. Don't leave any questions out there as to what's going to happen after you spill your guts out there like that. Ask them how they feel after you say it. But have the courage to do it. I promise you, it's going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. So don't lose a really, really good opportunity of a loving relationship that could be, and then find out 10 years down the road that they were attracted to you too. Nip it in the bud now, go for it, and let me know what happens. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments below the video and keep subscribing to my channel. Love hearing from all of you.